New videos every day. The next category is protein. And you are made out of protein and every living thing is made out of protein. And the cool thing to know about protein is that there are 20 molecules that form together to combine to make protein. And every living thing has to have these 20 amino acids, these 20 small molecules in order to sustain life. Now, some are essential and some are non-essential. So, some of the amino acids our body makes and some of them our body does not make, so we have to have them in our diet. Now, you may have heard before the term carbon-based life form, and it's referring to humans or carbon, you know, creatures or carbon-based life forms. And where that term comes from is that all of the amino acids, all the 20 amino acids that our body uses as building blocks to build cells and muscle and tissue, at the center of each one of those amino acids is a carbon molecule. So that's where the term comes from. Now, another thing to know is that when you eat a piece of chicken, that chicken is protein. When you eat it during digestion, your body will break apart those protein molecules back into all the 20 little building blocks and then your body reassembles them in the order that it needs in order to build the proteins that you need. So that's pretty cool about how we can turn something that we're eating into something that our bodies need. Another thing to know is that if you have a certain, you know, if you have a disease, if you um, have high stress, if you've had an injury, it actually increases your body's demand and your body's need for protein. So make sure that you increase your protein on a daily basis so that your body can rebuild itself. Now, another thing to know is that not all foods that say that they have protein in it, for example, if you look on the back of a you know, box of cereal and it says four grams of protein per serving, Although that says protein grams, that doesn't mean that it has all the amino acids that you would need in order to form a molecule. Now you need amino acids, all the 20 amino acids to build muscle and you know for all the other structures in your body. But you're not going to get all the amino acids from just that one food. And that's why it's really important to eat complete protein foods and that would be a food that has all of the amino acids and so you're providing your body with essential amino acids and the non-essential amino acids. Basically you're making it easier for your body to use all the little Legos to build muscle. The next category is fats and it's unfortunate but a lot of uh, attention is placed on fats in a negative way, in other words, you know, don't have any fat in your diet, it's not healthy, you know, if you want to lose weight, don't eat any fat, but actually there are some benefits to fats and your body utilizes fats for some really important functions. But there's obviously a difference between which type of fats that you need to eat. And one of those is essential fatty acids. Now those are really big in supplements and on commercials and Essential fatty acids, those omega-3s and omega-6s, you know, you may have heard about fish, you know, fish oil supplements, cod liver supplements, things like that. Well, those are providing your body with those omega fatty acids that you cannot make. In other words, if you're not getting that in your diet through flaxseed and through regular fish, these supplements have come out in order to make sure that you are still getting those essential nutrients that your body needs uh, for brain function. Your brain uses all those omega fatty acids and then also your body um, in other parts of your body uses those uh, fatty acids as well. Another type of fat is saturated fat and this is a type of fat that is only found in animal products. So in meats themselves, chicken, fish, 
um, and also in meat products such as dairy, eggs, things like that. Now, saturated fats in high amounts in your diet are going to lead to high cholesterol, um, cardiovascular problems. So you definitely have to make sure that that is keeping, um, you know, at a relatively low level. A lot of fast foods are really high in saturated fats, <clears throat> and so that is going to actually impact your health. But you don't want to completely avoid them because they do carry fat-soluble vitamins but you just have to make sure that you're um, you know, eating those types of foods in moderation. The last type of fat is trans fats. Now trans fats are not natural, they're not in nature. Our bodies were never intended to handle or be able to process these trans fats. So what these fats are, are regular fats that processes um, these processes take these these fats and compress them to where they are these dense, just you know, highly concentrated fat molecules. And so our bodies aren't able to process that, and that can actually become a carcinogen in our bodies and can contribute to cancer. And that is the reason why labeling laws and um, FDA now requires products to put on the nutrition fact label if that product has trans fats. Now lastly about fats, fats when you have them in your diet you actually will feel full longer throughout the day. So for example you've probably eaten a salad before and didn't have any protein on it or any you know meat that had protein and saturated fats in it. Well, and then you probably notice within, you know, I don't know, two hours, you're all of a sudden hungry again. Well, it's because you didn't have enough fat in that meal in order to help you feel full. So good fats to have in your diet in order to keep that hunger craving to a minimum. Um, all the nuts and seeds, those have um, good oil. So sunflower seeds, almonds, walnuts, um, flaxseed is a really good... Um, food that provides the essential fatty acids that your body needs. Also, salmon is a really good fish, provides those essential fatty acids. So those are just some ideas to have in your diet um, to make sure that your body's getting enough fat it needs to do the things it needs to do without eating poorly and compromising your health. So I hope that clears up maybe any questions you had about nutrients or what they are. And remember that there's not just one nutrient, there's not just two nutrients, that there's actually several nutrients. And that in order for you to be at your optimal health, you need to make sure you're getting all of them, especially water. And um, so post your comment, leave a message, and um, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.